That's actually a very difficult question. It is a, also a controversial question in the world of neurology. Um, so like all the other questions that I answered, this is um, one doctor's opinion on how to answer that question. Um, these drugs uh, are not perfect. Um, unfortunately, there is breakthrough disease activity um, with all of them. When a patient is classified as a drug failure, and I like to say that the, the drugs have failed the patient, you know, it's not a failure of, of the actual patient. Um, when that happens, it's really a decision between the doctor and the patient, because the patient has to be an active participant in deciding when the medication isn't working. Generally, it's disease activity that has continued, um, continued relapses that are above and beyond what was going on beforehand. However, it's a very individualized, patient-centered question um, that really needs to be made on an individual level. There is no, there's no way to say when the medications fail because, unfortunately, there is no 100% fix to the disease. Um, we all wish that there, there were. I, I mean, I wish that there were. Um, but there is no 100% fix. And that's why it's a very difficult clinical decision and patient-centered decision as to when to change therapies and when therapies aren't working. Um, unfortunately, sometimes the symptoms that happen during an exacerbation um, aren't going to go away um, quickly. Sometimes they take a long time and sometimes they don't go away 100%. But the medications don't necessarily treat the symptoms. The medications are used to prevent further disease activity. At least the medications I'm talking about with the um, immunomodulatory therapies. Um, it is important to stress again that once the decision is made either to go off therapy or to change therapies, it, it has to be made between the doctor and the patient because it is it's a major decision and it can alter the course of therapy and alter the course of the disease. So it, again, going back, it's a very difficult, individualized, patient-by-patient -patient decision that really needs to be very carefully examined between the doctor and the patient and the patient's family, really.